Welcome to another edition of Politics and Right. I'm honored to be with Michael Thorne. Michael, you have been a long, long, long time activist coming to Netroots for how many years consecutively? I don't know. Uh, actually, we missed last year uh, for other re for non-related reasons. But let me ask you a question first of all. Sure. Did you at least watch one stream? of Netflix when you get Yes, well, but... I am not going to give you the opportunity to okay. say, after spending year after year coming here, I think we I think we should hold the honor that you're still the net roots connoisseur, the person uh, okay. who's here every year. Okay, well, well we try. We try. We but try. tell me about, first of all, how did you get started with Net Roots Nation? Uh, uh, well, we were Delicos. Uh, we were involved in Delicos, so, you know, originally it grew out of Daily Coast is a big progressive blog uh, and uh, Marcos Molitsis uh, started Daily Coast many years ago uh, and uh, they we got involved in progressive politics through that blog and uh, and I guess a group of participants in the blog really wanted were, were interested in getting together at some point and, and in those days, I think it was called Yearly Coast, right? Yes, the first two years were called year. The 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 conference was called Yearly Coast, but right. that was too limiting. There were too many people who were interested in participating in this kind of this kind of get together to you know to be so narrow as to just call it Yearly Coast. And then it turned into this. It turned into this, and you know, Daily Coast is still around, um, and our involvement is certainly a lot bigger than. Than Daily Coast nowadays, but but that's okay. We still we still do Daily Coast stuff, uh, and and you know everyone else here from all over is, is certainly more than the blogosphere. Also, um, a lot more than the blogosphere. In, in fact, you, it's, it, yeah, <laughs> it, 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 it's amazing. It's what it has turned into. Where everybody from all every progressive s segment of society is here at this conference. Right, the whole net roots. Uh, you know the highly technical, uh, te technological, uh, online uh, engagement, uh, you know, grassroots organizing, and, you know. And look, to show, that, to, to show that, you know, uh, organizing and activism is for everybody, what do you do for, for a living? For a living, absolutely nothing uh, related to politics. Uh, I'm a technology guy. Um, I run a s relatively small product for a big company, and uh, we do we are online as uh, at some level. But you've never heard of our company, and well, you have because we talked before. Yeah. Uh, but uh, uh, we work behind the scenes in customer support uh, for electronics and banks and uh, stuff. But you know uh, what is interesting is that. In as much as you're doing these non-political things, you see a reason to come to oh, this every year because you want to be a part of the well, body everything, politics. Everything's political, whether whether you would. I like that. Well, it is. What isn't political? I mean, yeah. uh, you know, every everything going on in politics affects affects our daily lives in um, in so many different ways that it. You know, I think it's important. It's more important, more than important. It's critical to be engaged. Um, you know, if you're not engaged at all, you have no idea who to vote for, who to talk to, how to talk to your representatives, how how to sort of let people know the lawmakers, if nothing else. Uh, you know, you're a citizen. If you're a citizen, you have uh, you have a responsibility to be engaged with your representatives and to participate. You know, this morning uh, I did my show in Houston from the hotel room, the live on air, and there is one the one of the guys in the in the control room. He has a peeve and he constantly say, uh, we have to get out there and vote. It's so whatever is happening out there is our fault. Get the hell out and vote. And in effect, as somebody like yourself who have so many other interests, you can see the importance of what we're doing here. Absolutely. And, you know, I, voting is like the bare minimum. Um, you know, I, I think one of the one of my takeaway messages from from Netroots uh, and and sort of being involved at this level at, at the at the ground level is your representatives really want to hear from you. Right. You know, um, every time I talk to an elected representative, whether I voted for them or not, uh, they are deeply interested with 
certain exceptions, but they should be deeply interested right. in, in what you think about uh, and what I think about what's, what's going on, how they should do their business, and what, how they should legislate, and where they should put their priorities. Um, I think so many times representatives uh, are stuck either are stuck listening to the to the to their the people that fund them and organizations that fund them because they're the loudest um, Absolutely. you know they if 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 I donate thousands of dollars to your campaign right I feel I feel uh, empowered to, to yell at you and say this is I'm I'm a big donor I I should be able to uh, to communicate with you and tell you what I think should happen right if I just voted for you I'm I really should be just as important right you know everyone one should person, have the vote one, vote. one, one, one person, person one, one vote, vote. Yes. but I think that gets lost um, the money in the in the system gets uh, overwhelms that so so much so those of us who don't donate thousands of dollars um, really need to be louder and you know it's that what we teach here we have several breakouts that talk about how to be how to I, you know I used to say that we try to empower people but we can't empower folks because they're already empowered yeah and as such they we just show them how to use the power that they right. even if, have. even if it's you know talking to whether it's sending a letter or sending an email right. or better best the best thing is personal contact right you know banging on their office door whether even if they're not there right you know there will be someone there and they will take a note that that one of their one of their constituents showed up and cared enough to to talk to them and yeah. it's it's even better if you can you know talk to someone in person absolutely at, well. at a party or a, you know a social gathering or Wherever. something like this if they're so in if they're so enthusiastic to yeah. to show up, well, I'm I'm very happy that uh, first of all I'm happy to talk to you. I mean, we've been <laughs> we've been seeing each other. I, I don't know how many year, years, year Where year after meet? year after year, and I think this may be the first time that you're sitting in a chair. I, I, I think say, so. I think I said, man, we got to. I mean, uh, somebody that's been coming like this has to have their word out, like a thumb. It's a pleasure it knowing you, and I, thank you for It's always the great talking to you. Absolutely. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to, trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share.